Hello everyone, what is up? And I am here with uh, the Nintendo Wii U and one of my all-time favorite games, uh, Sin and Punishment Star Successor. Well, maybe one of my all-time favorites is a bit, bit of a stretch, but... Definitely, definitely. Oh, he crap. I haven't even started playing it. I swear I, st I just changed my batteries. I swear I just did last time I played it. Anyway. So this is definitely one of the uh, more underappreciated games on Wii. So um, streaming it is going to be a very interesting experience because I, I don't think most people really talk about this game very much. And this is, like, absolutely my favorite uh, rail shooting series of all time. I, I think that's more fair to say. Uh, from a pure gameplay perspective, this is the absolute best. Um, th the thing is, um, there there's more to the experience than just having, like, raw, really good gameplay. Like, uh, the thing with Sin and Punishment is that, like, it has really great gameplay and... Um, no extra little bits. You know what I mean? Like, um... I was thinking, uh, right before I went live, um, Kid Icarus Uprising, Star Fox Zero, and this all do different things way better than each other. You know what I mean? Like, Star Fox Zero has that immersion factor, Kid Icarus Uprising has that, like, really, really insane replayability. Uh, literally, honestly, I, I was, um, I'm trying to calculate how long it's gonna take me to get everything there is in that game, and I'm assuming hundreds of hours, or maybe never. Um, assuming that I, I, I can't if um, if the game requires me to use Street Pass, I don't think I'll be able to finish it because nobody's uh, using Street Pass anymore. I, I am maybe I'll be able to use my hammers for that, but we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, hammers, uh, I call them hammers. Uh, the wings for the freebies. Uh, yeah, Kid Icarus Uprising is definitely, definitely uh, a great game. I've been I've been playing it a lot. I've been enjoying it a lot, but um, I decided to pop this in because. Uh, Kid Icarus Uprising is basically the spiritual successor to this. They are, they are very, very, uh, very similar. You have, like, the shoot button and you have the attack button and uh, that's it. Uh, but I do think Sin and Punishment, from a pure pure gameplay perspective, is way, way better. It has better boss fights. It has more engaging uh, more, more engaging gimmicks. It, it's incredible how, how versatile this game can be with, like, relatively simple controls and... And mechanics. Um, see, you have like a melee attack. Um, it's good for attacking enemies all around you. Like, look at this. How is this not awesome? It, it's spectacular how much they managed to do with this. Oops, shit. Like, you have these neat, like, enemy designs, uh, unique enemy designs. They're constantly throwing new shit at you. Um, boss fights, I think, is where this game really, really shines. And, and one of the reasons I'm so fond of it. Like, legit some of my favorite rail shooter boss fights ever. So much fun. But yeah, uh, this is actually the first time I've come back and played this in years. Uh, because I have I, I spent that amount of time trying to beat the original on hard mode. Uh, this is hard mode, so I, I'm probably going to struggle a bit playing uh, playing this. Um, I, I've never beaten the game on hard mode. I've beaten it on normal. So uh, this, is, this is my first time through playing it on... On hard mode. I have not played this game in a long time either, so I'm actually going in relatively blind. I'm surprised at how little I uh, I remember about this game. I, I think I breezed through some segments on normal and then struggled against certain boss fights, but uh, I think I'll be struggling against the actual levels a lot more playing on hard. Uh, enemies do more damage. Um, even against that one boss that I, I fought several times before, uh, that boss I fought during the demo, actually, the, the giant turtle that's falling down the pipe, yeah, that thing. Um, yeah, I, I struggled against that. It was definitely really interesting. Uh, Treasure is definitely a definitely a studio that uh, is sorely, sorely missed in the, uh, the 2000s, uh, in 2020s. Uh, love, love, love Treasure. Classic Treasure, but unfortunately... This is the last game they've put out. Like, it, it's weird. They haven't gone bankrupt or anything. And they've been teasing new projects, but uh, it, it's been like a decade. And, uh, yeah, this came out in 2010, 2009. Um, yeah, we haven't heard anything from them. And I would love a Sin and Punishment 3, but... Uh, does it really take... Does it really take 10 years to make, really? I mean, it took about 10 years to make the, uh, the first sequel, right? The original came out in 2000, so like, I guess we're due for Sin and Punishment 3 this year? Is it going to be like a once-a-decade series? That would be amazing. 
But oops. Aw, oh, man. Damn. Oof. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a big, big uh, fan of Treasure. I, I like pretty much everything I've played from them. Uh, Mischief Makers, I liked. Um, I, I gotta play it more. I actually have not done everything you can do in that game. Uh, Gunstar Heroes, I like. I, I would go so far as to say Gunstar Heroes is probably my favorite Sega Genesis game. I, I can't think of anything I like more on Sega Genesis than Gunstar Heroes. And this is one of my uh, cult favorite Wii games. Uh, favorite Wii games. So yeah, um, the only real downside of this game is that it's really, really short. So if, if you're not really into like the whole skill-based, uh, play on the high, highest difficulty aspect, like I, I could see you getting through it really easy. Like if you just play on easy, um, you probably wouldn't appreciate it very much. I, I'm not really sure. This is actually, this game actually kind of has a history for me because this is, this game sparks the moment where um, I really realized just how much better Nintendo games actually were than the competition because uh, uh, people were talking about like Uncharted 2 at the time this came out. <coughs> <coughs> like I was standing there in GameStop, uh, watching um, watching those shills on the uh, the TV screen uh, try and hype up Uncharted 2 as one of the best action games ever made, and, and then I was playing this on the demo, and I was just like, "How is this not better than what?" Uncharted is doing like um yeah I, I played the demos for this and Uncharted 2 within a reasonable amount of time with each other like a, a couple of weeks probably maybe a month uh en enough so like I could compare the two because they were coming out around the same time and I was I was shocked like at just how much better this felt to me like how much this how much more interesting this was um how much you know how much more fun it was to play when you get right down to it like Uncharted has nothing going for it other than this superficial Oh, it's like a movie sort of attitude towards it. And uh, with that in mind, th that to me is when I began to notice that like the play the uh, the PlayStation IP or back then, I, I think it was just the game of the year contenders. It, it wasn't like it wasn't I, I didn't start off like hating PlayStation. It was like game of the year contenders. I wanted back in the day, believe it or not, my uh, my big most of my ire was directed at Xbox, you know, like uh, games like Halo, Mass Effect, uh, not gears. I, I never had a problem with gears. I, I don't. I don't see. I didn't see people like shit on use gears to shit on other franchises. Like I, I never saw people say like, "Oh, who needs to play Metroid Prime?" Because we have gears. No, I'm like I saw that with Halo. But uh, that's the thing. When when you have a shooter, right? When you have a shooter for both franchises, and you're a fan of uh, for both consoles, and you're a fan of. Um, and you're a fan of shooters, like, why would you not consider playing both? Uh, I, I found the the critiques for Sin and Punishment, like, the, the, the critiques of the, the visuals and story and voice acting and stuff like that, um, it didn't really matter, because the gameplay was just so much radically, radically better than anything Uncharted could provide. Uh, Uncharted, to me, was popular, was very, very shallow and very, very uninspired, and I just... Uh, like, even back then, uh, even back when I first played Uncharted 2, back when it first came out, back when it was winning all those awards that it didn't deserve. Um, yeah, it, it's interesting. Um, do people still... You never seriously hear people um, discuss whether or not Uncharted 2 was better than The Last of Us or Uncharted 4. Like, you don't really see any real comparisons. Like, it, it really just goes to show you how these people have no standards. Like, when you get right down to it, like, uh, what happened with Wind Waker? What happened with Twilight Princess? Like, you had fans of those games, you know, defend those games for, you know, because they liked them. You know what I mean? Like, they liked playing them, and uh, they were very eager to defend them against criticisms. I, I would say the big reason Wind Waker became such a cult classic was because of the knee-jerk uh, uh, knee response to, like, its, uh, its art style. You know what I mean? Like, how dare it look cartoony? Zelda's supposed to be a mature game for mature gamers. Um, it, it, it's shallow, you know? I, I I just feel... Oops. Ah, damn. Okay, this boss is completely destroying me. What game is this? Uh, this is Sin and Punishment Star Successor. Sin and Punishment 2 from Treasure on the Nintendo Wii. This game is... a. Uh, this game is phenomenal. I love it a lot.
Yeah, I remember when I first played this, and I, I picked the girl because, like, I, I hated the male character design so much. Uh, it's one of the few times I'll ever play as a female character. Uh. And, and the characters play completely differently, too, so I, 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 I've never... I don't think I've ever played a, a Zahisa. Maybe just to try him out, but... Alright, oops. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I like uh, the original more than this or not. It, they both do... The original is shorter, but it, it has a kind of charm to it that I really, really appreciate it. That I really, really appreciate. It's, um... This, um, probably has better gameplay, but, it, but it's one of those situations where, like, it's, uh... I don't know, man. Uh, maybe... Maybe a game is worth more than the sum of its parts, you know what I mean? But, but again, that, that's just me, like, wanting to, um, not wanting to discount either of them. They're both great. I, w I would love both of them to, um, be considered classics. And they are. I, I think the original is starting to, uh, take off popularity in, in recent years among, like, hardcore Nintendo fans. Because, like, a lot of people were bringing this up to, uh, attack Star Fox Zero, um, when it first came out. And, um, I could see why, um, oops, ah, but yeah, uh, the same... The same both are. I I really really like both, and I really really appreciate both. They both do different th things differently. You know what I mean? Like if you like both, there's no reason you shouldn't like. If you like one, there's no reason you shouldn't like the other. You know like you know what I mean? Like Star Fox Zero has uh, way higher production values than this. It has like a way more immersion with the gamepad controls. Yeah, I would say, um, you know, playing this again, I, I would go so far as to say, um, Star Fox Zero probably does have better controls than this, because, um, the Wii U gamepad can't really be replicated, um, in this fashion, you know what I mean? Um, you could probably do this with dual sticks, probably. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you basically could with the original. Oh, that, that's definitely something this has over the original, uh, the motion controls. Aiming, like, wherever you want is just really cool for this kind of game. So basically, you, like, you have to move your character and shoot the enemies in their weak spots. It's, it's incredible. All right. So you have a dodge button. Damn, all right. Not doing a lot of damage, uh... There we go, got it. Oops, ah, damn. How much more health do I have? Problems with this game? Uh, not really. I think it's fundamentally uh, perfect. I think it does everything it sets up to do. Sure, there are other games that do different things, but uh, you can just play those other games. Um, it's personally, oh shit. Like, like that's the thing. Like people are arguing, uh, is this is Star Fox Zero? Is this better than Star Fox Zero? Um, again, there's no reason that you can't just play both because they both do different things. Like Star Fox Zero is more of a fight simulator. Like, you know, where you fight ro where you realistically fight, like, enemy ships and stuff like that. It's, it's not, like, it, this is over-the-top anime bullshit, which is, which is both great, you know what I mean? But, uh, it, it's, it, it, it's basically a different subgenre, essentially, when you get right down to it. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, Star Fox Zero is definitely, uh, very, very underrated. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have to play that on stream eventually. I I'm not really sure when I'm going to do that. Um, probably when I get through my backlog, because I still have like a massive, massive backlog to get through. 
But, uh, yes, I am definitely... Oops, there we go. I don't remember this part at all. There's so much about this game I don't remember. Because it's been so long since I've replayed it. It's not that long of a game, too. I, I was surprised when I was looking at the, uh, the level select screen. I was like, oh, there, there are only seven levels. But, like, the, the levels are, like, massively long in this game, compared to the original, especially. Where the, the original just has, like, literally... Like, what? Like, what? Three levels? Like, take, take, that takes, like, what? Like, three hours to get through? It, it's really short, is what I'm getting at. Um, it makes up for it by being hard as balls, but... Oops, all right. Damn. Damn, damn! <sighs> Alright, we gotta... We gotta get through this level at least. I was thinking that uh, I might play No More Heroes on stream too. Um, I, I was gonna set up, I was gonna play it like, uh, I was considering playing it in the Wii and just reviewing it, but I was just like, well, I know the game by heart anyway, but so I might as well just uh, start a new file on Wii U. I've been doing that occasionally, just playing like old Wii games on, uh, on Wii U <laughs> to, um, to start new files on them for certain titles. I actually own so many Wii games that, uh, several... That I have to play them on Wii U, because I don't have enough, uh, storage space for them all. It, it's, uh, it, it's kind of incredible. Alright. I wonder what my Animal Crossing City Folk Town looks like. I... I haven't looked at it in years. Uh... Damn. I am... I'm getting destroyed. Oof. Yeah, I love this game, but I, but I, I probably can't play it for like more than an hour because it's so exhausting. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, I made some progress at least. I think it's how I did it when I first played it too. I just um, got as far as I could, died, and then took a break. Of course, I'm playing on hard, so it's probably a bit different. Just too much shit. I don't know. I probably shouldn't be playing on hard mode for streams. I, I don't know. Like, shouldn't it be snappy? I don't know, like, I'm imagining what it would have been like to, um, to play Bayonetta 2 on stream and, like, actually go through that process of 100%ing it on stream, like, beating Rodan, like, in Bayonetta 2. That, that was ridiculous. Like, I think it was, like, sitting here for, like, something like, what, like, three hours trying to do that? Something ridiculous like that. Um, I don't know how long it took. Maybe an hour and a half. Like, it was a long time for one boss is what I'm getting at. Uh, oops. Oh, by the way, I was, I was playing, like, Final Fantasy X uh, on Switch, and it was um, very, very impressive. I, I I actually thought about, like, uh, wow, doing a video on that, like, how much I love Final Fantasy X. It, it's so, so good. Way better than I think people give it credit for. Uh, I, I'm always hearing people, like, shit-talk it and defend shit like 12, which is like, no, that's, that's not good. Uh, I love how you can kick these bug saws. Well, I'm a super android, so I guess that makes sense. I'm technically like Android 18 right now. Uh, oops, technically. Well, not not a literal Android. I, I'm not even sure what the fuck she is. Because like Sin and Punishment, to be completely bluntly honest with you, especially the N64 one, has the most nonsensical, convoluted story I've ever seen in my life. I have no idea what's going on in these games. It's baffling how ridiculous this. Uh, there we go. Oh, we actually got. Uh, we actually got to the checkpoint. Wow. All right. We might actually beat this level. What is this? Level 3? I, I think it's level 3, right? And there are only like 7 in the entire game. Like I said, look at how versatile this is. Like, you do shit like go into the foreground, you fight like, uh, bosses, uh... 
you fight bosses like in, in side scroller levels, like it, it, it's interesting. It it really does a lot with its uh, mechanics. Like see, like right now I'm dodging these closing doors. It, this game is great at like having all these crazy concepts thrown at you while uh, not really to test your skills. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Like this game never feels cheap. That's that's a mark of a great action game, I think. Is that it doesn't feel um, cheap at all. Oops. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, oops. Uh, what's this thing? Uh, are, we, are we gonna make it through? Probably not. But, uh, oh, wow, I can't believe that. I can't believe I got through that. Alright. Uh, but where's the... Damn, 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 she got me. Alright, she got me. Uh, that thing got me. I love how I call that thing a she. Oh, it's a complete monster. She is a complete monster. Um. I mean, to me, this game, um... This, is, this looks better than The Last of Us, or Uncharted 2, because... Um, the levels are creative, they're interesting, and they're fun to play. You know what I mean? Like, um... It was shocking to me just how much better this was than the shit that people were getting excited for. And I do think this is, um, this really needs to be said. I was just thinking about this before I went live. Um, there's looking for quality and then there's, like, going for whatever's new. You know what I mean? Like, um, I do think it's the mark of a pleb to just go after uh, new material just because it's new. Rather than, like, seeking out stuff that's, like, actually actively really good. Because, like, I was seeing... I, I saw IGN today. IGN today was uh, trying to get people hyped up for uh, God of War 2018. Oh, oh, it's the two-year anniversary of, of God of War 2018. Please, please remember this uh, this incredible, incredible alt video game that's one of... Uh, that's honestly one of the best of all time. It was, it was a complete joke. It, it really, really was. And, um, I really did get the impression that, uh, the people really, really hyping up God of War 2018 don't play a lot of games. Um, like, you wouldn't be seeing, it's really weird, uh, seeing stuff that kind of flies under the radar, stuff that even I didn't notice about it. Like, people were bringing up how, like, um, God of War, how there were all these game journalist articles about how God of War 2018 made them a better person. Like, what, what, are you serious? God of War? You're getting your uh, morality advice on God of War? Are you serious? The one where you, like, the game series that, uh, had you spawn, that had you, like, rape a bunch of bitches and, like, a sing, like, at once or whatever? Like, shit. Wow, God of War, uh, the most moral video game in existence. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, this game is so good. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, top tier rail shooter action. I will say... I, I do miss certain things about the original, though. Um, I mean, mostly moments. You know what I mean? Like, there are some things in the original that I think are kind of unimitatable. You know what I mean? Like, there's that scene uh, where you're fighting uh, that guy on the, on the boat. I can't even remember his name. Uh, the, the guy on the boat, and, like, he, uh, he comes at you with a sword, and you're just supposed to, like, slam the attack button to, like, hit him, and he slams against the window, he keeps slamming against the window, and then, like, you beat him, and then he, like, breaks through, and it's, like, the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It, it was so, so good. So, so well handled. Uh, this game, to my knowledge, doesn't have anything like that, uh... Or at least not the same thing. Uh, that is definitely something that can be uh, said about this game compared to other sequels. Um, you know, Assassin's Creed, Uncharted, uh, The Last of Us. It, it doesn't feel like a rehash. Like, it's very similar, but it, it feels like it's doing its own thing, too. Because I don't think... Um, it's like, it, it did, like, the original didn't have the same kind of enemies. They're not reusing enemy designs. They're just throwing, like, more and more crazy shit at you. 
they're not rehashing concepts. It feels like completely original. It feels like an evolution. Like with the motion controls. Oh, by the way, the motion controls, which are awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm praising that enough. That is something I've noticed. Um, uh, now that the Wii isn't like the uh, the console that everyone's trying to uh, shit on now, um, nobody is really complaining about motion controls anymore. Like, um, now the only people uh, talking about them are people who, uh, like me, who legitimately enjoy them and want to see them uh, continue to escalate on the Switch, like with ARMS and other other video game franchises. Um, motion controls are awesome, and... Um, Oh, funny how, like, the uh, the motion controls don't work crowd are, are nowhere to be found when it comes to um, VR and uh, Half-Life. The, the same people who spent years bitching about, like, the Wii and how that works uh, are uh, hyping up Half-Life Alex Or were hyping up Half-Life Alex before. See, that, isn't this awesome? You have to, like, kick your way through this door. Oh, oops. Oh, wait. No, you don't. Oh, I think you're supposed to shoot it. Oh, no. Ah, damn. That is frustrating. That is... That is frustrating. Oh, man. No, oh, wait, wait. Oh, is my battery dead? Come on. Hang on. My nunchuck wasn't working. There we go. Yeah, I gotta get my controllers replaced, because they're not working the way they should be. Uh, alright. Now, I'll probably have to get through this game slowly, like maybe half an hour, half an hour of play sessions a day. Jeez, this is gonna get, this is gonna get, like, irritating, playing on hard mode, like, the entire way through. And these levels are a lot longer than they are in the original. Honestly, I think the original probably has better pacing, but this has, like, auto-saving. Uh, so it, it's kind of like, it kind of doesn't really matter. The whole, like, idea of having levels doesn't really matter in this game, because, like, uh, all that really signifies is, like, whether or not you, you're, um, there's one boss per level. Like, entire level sections are entirely different from one another, so it's like, uh, what's the point, right? This game is, like, old school as... <clears throat> Incredibly old school. During a time period where uh, Uncharted was ruining video games. Yeah, right. Oops. Ah. while since I finished the original as well, so I actually don't remember all that much about the plot. I, I know it, um, it features Saki's child, Isa, and his, like, uh, supposed escort of this, like, uh, inhuman girl, uh, Kachi, but other than that, like, I, I don't remember. I don't remember shit about this IP. All right. Oh, oh am I supposed to shoot it? Shoot it! There we go. Okay, one shot should do it. What? Oh, damn. Really? How long have I been streaming? Man, I want to keep playing. Uh... I think we'll give it one more shot. And then we'll uh, try something else. Maybe Wind Waker? Uh... Wind Waker is on my shelf right now. That might be a fun one. I think No More Heroes, though, to start off with. Yeah, I'm thinking like maybe one No More Heroes boss a day. To like get through it. To get through the entire series before No More Heroes 3 comes out. Assuming it does come out, um, I was actually going to talk about this today. Um, is 2020 going to be the worst year for video games ever? Because there is absolutely nothing coming out. Like, there is absolutely nothing coming out. Because of the because of the uh, the virus, you know, the shortages, 
everything that's going on. Um, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any really good video games this year. Like, from anyone. Not even Nintendo. Uh, especially not Nintendo, because they can't... Um, they won't be able to release a lot of um, heavy hitters. Uh, Animal Crossing is great, but... Uh, that was in the process of coming out before the virus uh, really, really took off. So I, I'm really worried about how things are going to look um, in the next couple of months. Especially since we don't really have any any games uh, to speak of coming out. Like, at all. Like, nothing of value. Like, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive. And uh, that's, that's not worth playing. Like, I guess you could argue that, like, oh, people can spend hundreds of hours playing that. Uh, that'll, that'll be a good time waster. I don't know. I don't think people will want to spend their time playing Xenoblade, of all things. Uh, like, does that game really need to be released, like, four times? Like, come on. It does not, it does not need... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say this right here. Uh, yeah, Z Xenoblade is, like, the most overrated Wii game. Um, I literally own, like, pretty much... I don't want to say everything, but most of the really, really well-regarded Wii games. Uh, but yeah, Xenoblade, out of all of them, is by far the most overrated. Um, I, I can't think of anything I dislike as much as uh, Xenoblade. Like, even Muramasa, which I do not like, I'll, I'll say is like better than Xenoblade, at the very least. Yeah, Muramasa probably, is probably a strong second. Uh, but then, like, people don't hype up Muramasa to the same extent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people will say they like it, but, uh, yeah, usually they won't say it's, like, one of the best 2D action games of all time or anything. Like, you, you, know, you know what I mean? The way, like, Xenoblade fans do with, uh, Xenoblade and, uh, Monolith Soft. Isn't this awesome? There we go. We got it. Yep, we got the checkpoint. All right, now we got to keep playing. Oh no, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on sin and punishment. I'm going to punish you for your sins. Oh, that just makes me want. That just gets me fired up about Final Fantasy X. Uh, should, should I stream Final Fantasy X? Like, I'm not sure if I should. Um, I mean, I know the game so well anyway that I might as well. It's not. It's not like it's a first time playthrough. That that probably should be my my uh, streaming rule is that I only stream games that I uh, I know. So like, there's no dicking around or anything like that. Um, getting to know the game or anything like that. Uh, Ten, I know so well. I might, I might as well just stream it. But, but I'm so. I loved the opening cutscene to like Ten so much. I, I really, really wish I, uh, I, I was, I was a, uh, I talked about it because it was. It's so so compelling. It's so so engaging. It's so. It's so beautiful in its way. It, it, it's great. It, it does a great job of setting up the world and the themes and the ideas and like the main character. Titus is um, definitely, in my opinion, um, one of the most underrated Final Fantasy characters. Uh, I think one of my favorite, actually. Uh, looking back on this after ten, uh, people will rail on him for not being uh, cool, but um, he is cool um, in that superficial way, uh, which makes him a great character. Um, since, since the entire the entire game is about his uh, personal growth. It's very, very compelling and very, very different than I think than most other, most other Final Fantasy characters, and uh, I find it very, very refreshing. After a Cloud, Oof. Um, I definitely like Cloud as well, but but it's like uh, Titus. You know, Cloud is in a way is kind of liked for the wrong reasons, and then like Titus is disliked for what makes him great. You know what I mean? Like people, I find um, his relationship with Yuna to be, you know, really, really engaging and fun and just, it does a, it does a lot to, uh, it, it does a lot for me. I, I really, really enjoy uh, his story, <laughs> uh, so to speak. And, and I think I'm going to 100% uh, the uh, Switch version of Final Fantasy X. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, like a couple of years probably, but um, oof. yeah, I love, love, love Final Fantasy X. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I love how I'm like replaying 7 and 10 during a time where I still have not finished 5 or 9, but I really, really liked both. It really is like an age thing, or, or maybe just a, um, a massive backlog thing, where I, I just do not have time to play every single RPG, like, that I own. It, it, it's really, really baffling. Um, I'm hoping that someday I'll be able to, uh, soon... I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, 
provide more time for that, but we'll have to see. Honestly, like... Yeah. I mean, I've been, like, more than willing to shelve, like, JRPGs I don't really like, like Tales of Asperia and stuff like that. Uh, Tales, I, I really, really disliked, actually. Um, honestly, I should probably rail on Tales more. I would have railed on Tales more if it if it had come out during, um, if I had known about it. But, um, yeah, like, hearing all this talk about how Tales was, like, one of the best JRPGs of, like, the, uh, the Xbox 360, which really isn't saying a whole lot, uh... I really should have been more critical of it when I played it, because I was just like, this is uh, not a very good game. It's not very interesting, it's not very fun. Um, I like I like the characters, but that's about it. Oops. I didn't like the setting, I just... Ugh. Some people really, 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 really like Tales of Vesperia. And, and I don't see why. I really, really don't. Um, so yeah, I shelved that. Oh, but yeah, like, Square Enix alone, I own, like, so many RPGs, like Final Fantasy IX, X, uh, Bravely Default, uh, you know, seven I'm playing, five I'm playing, I was playing. Like, shit, like, there's just so much to get through all the time. And, uh, I'm always buying more. Um, I have been cutting back on purchasing a lot of I have been cutting back on purchases a lot, but it, like, probably not to the... Like, these are games that last, like, hundreds of hours. It's very, very difficult to get through them if you're, like, um, playing a bunch of them at once. It really, really is. Like, I was playing Final Fantasy X, and I, I didn't even get to the part where, uh, you get out of the ruins, like, and meet Riku yet. It's just... I'm just like, okay. I have other things to do. I, I can't sit here and play this. Game. And I was really enjoying it, too. It's just like... Yeah, I, I do love Final Fantasy X a lot, but... Yeah, with... I got a 100% 7, I got to play 9... I'm definitely going to try... Oh, here we are, here we are at the boss. I would definitely like to, um, try and... Pick one RPG and just stick with that. And, and I think... I have been trying to do that for to a certain extent. But yeah, um... Right now, it just ends up being Dragon Quest. Like, every time I commit to, like, one RPG, it's always a Dragon Quest game. Uh, right now, it's two... I think I'm gonna stick with two until I beat it, and then I gotta play three. Uh, honestly, like there are so many like digital games I like more than all the, the physical games I have to get through. It's uh, it's it's becoming, it's becoming kind of a problem because I, I have this entire shelf of a uh, of physical games I want to get through, but I'm not enjoying all of them to the same extent as I am uh, Dragon Quest. You know what I mean? The dra the original Dragon Quest games. Oh wait, come on. Hey, oh, hey, wait, can I? Here we go. Oh, hang on, what am, I, what am I doing? How do you beat this thing? Like, what am I even doing? All right. Oh, here we go. Okay, I don't get why this one pillar is, like, able to take my hits, but the rest of them aren't, but okay. There's so much shit going on, I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Uh, most Wii remotes these days have Wii Motion Plus installed, so you might as well have it. There's no reason not to. For, like, especially if you're gonna get really great games like Skyward Sword or Wii Sports Resort, you need to have the Motion Plus. I, I hope we get a new Fatal Frame. That's actually my, uh, my big problem with Switch right now. We, we don't have, um, Fatal Frame, um, which is really disappointing to me. Uh, we have not gotten a new Fatal Frame, or even a collection, a re-release, since the, the Wii U one. And uh, I liked the Wii U one. It was my first Fatal Frame, and I, I liked it a lot. And I, I was really anxious to play 2, uh, to play more of it. But no, they uh, never released any of it. And uh, I, I technically could go on PS, PSN and, and buy it, but uh, why would I do that? Um, I, I would rather just wait for the Nintendo version.
So I like Fatal Frame a lot. Um, and and the inner and the uh, director or producer or whatever was was uh, well uh, went on record saying it's up to Nintendo to for a sequel to be made. So let's hope Nintendo likes our uh, ghost hunting waifus as much as we do. Because um, because I really really uh, I really really like Fatal Frame Five. Um, honestly, for a really long time, and I think I still feel this way. Um, uh, the main the main girl of Five is probably the most beautiful uh, video game character I've ever seen in my life. Amazing, amazing girl. All right. So yeah, apparently that's my type. Uh, Japanese ghost hunter girls in video games. Uh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm really annoyed that people aren't getting more fired up about like uh, pushing for Fatal Frame to be on Switch because I, I think it could do well. I mean, really, I think the IP just needs to uh, really, really uh, take that Resident Evil 4 route and become really, really popular. Um, damn, I keep I keep suffering. Um, there are lots of things they could do to make it more popular. Um, but yeah, they're gonna have to figure out what what their formula is. I mean, what I would do, I, I would just waifu all the girls, like just, just you know, exploit the shit out of them. But that, that's just me. They have like a male protagonist that you cannot customize, and then like. Uh, and then have a dating simulator for like all of these gorgeous Japanese girls like that that would make it big uh, for sure uh, that, that that would be my idea um, actually I came up with a concept of a fatal frame game um, it would it would be like a, a mix between like you know traditional fatal frame and uh, during night segments and then like an action game during a uh, daylight segment so it, you would have like different playable characters depending on what time of day it was uh, yeah, they, they could um they could do a lot to make it more popular. I mean, I mean the first step is like actually releasing the fucking game. Um, but honestly, I think I think this is Nintendo's fault, to be completely honest with you. Um, I mean it's up to them when they when it gets released when it gets released. I'm, I'm surprised more people aren't like ra don't rage about Nintendo uh, owning Fatal Frame like the way they did about Bayonetta. I guess because Fatal Frame is so unpopular in comparison, I I've seen very little uh, people trying to uh, pretend that Nintendo ruined Fatal Frame. I I find that very very interesting. Uh, most people aren't even aware that Nintendo co-owns Fatal Frame um, now. Uh, they didn't they didn't for the first three, but they they own four and five, and they will own uh, the IP going forward. Okay, why is it spinning around? I, I just want to see my, I just want to see my target. I don't care about the rest of this. There's probably an easy way to do this, but I'm probably doing it wrong. Uh. I can't even get a good shot because it keeps hiding. Stay okay. Wow, that was that was embarrassing. Yeah, I think we should ask for a port of five. Uh, for sure, definitely a port of five at least. Like, if nothing else, a port of five. Um, I, I probably wouldn't buy it because I own it on Wii U. Oh, I, I could probably stream it this Halloween. That might be fun. I, uh, but yeah, I. Yeah, I haven't played Fatal Frame Five at all since it came out. Um, well, actually, I, I did pop it in once, and uh, it was it was really interesting going back to it after such a long break. And uh, I actually still don't still haven't unlocked the Nintendo costumes because of the requirements required. Like you have to get like both endings, and the, and the final chapter is like ridiculous. Like what do you have to do? Like you have to get all the uh, all the alternate endings, like in every possible order. So you have to beat the game like at least four times. So you have to get the bad ending, which. Uh, Honestly, the requirements for that are stupid, as I recall. I believe all you have to do is, like, beat the final boss in, like, a specific arena. Like, she she just keeps changing, like, where she is. So, like, you just, uh... If she's underwater, you die. But it, it, if you're above ground, you win, or, or something like that. I, I don't... I don't really... 
I don't really know what the deal with that is. Yeah, yeah. I think people must not be talking about Fatal Frame because uh, they know it's, Nintendo is never going to give up the IP. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we better not hype this up, otherwise, uh, otherwise Nintendo could make it successful. It, it's one of those IPs. It has like the potential to really be a really big, uh, mature property for Nintendo. And uh, yeah, people tend to ignore those kind of things. Uh, you know, like they ignore ignored Internal Darkness. They ignored uh, Metroid Prime. Uh, they they try to damage control them, unless it's un unless it's um. They try to ignore them, unless it's unavoidable, like with Metroid Prime's uh, success and a uh, downright superiority over other first-person titles at the time. Uh, oops, oh, shit. Okay, so I think what I should do is I should just uh, target it and then... Damn. Because the way that the camera spins... Okay. No, no, stop! Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. I, I think what I... What, what was that? What was that? I have no idea what's going on. <sighs> yeah, I don't remember this boss at all. It's probably one of those things that's probably not all that difficult and normal, but on this, like, I probably never fi figured out the gimmick. It's probably not even the real boss, um, going by how it looks. Like, it's just, a, it's just a stick. Like, look at this. It's just a block. A literal, like, Tetris block. All right. Yes, Tetris. Well, you will never be as popular as Tetris, Sin and Punishment. All right. It's just gonna... It, it's just hiding back there. All right. Okay, get out there. Get out. Okay, I think we got it. Um, I think we'll just charge the bullets as high as we can go, and then fire. There we go. Okay, I think that's fine. If there were just more gaps, so I could shoot, like that. Got it. Forty-eight, three forty-eight. All right, there we go. Three thirty-two. Damn. Okay. Damn. Where are all these things coming from? All right. All right. How do I destroy the walls? Like, if I could just destroy these, uh, these pointless barriers. I am. Ah, frustrating. All right. Have I really been playing for an, almost an hour? Wow. Um, should I keep trying or should I take a break? Yeah, I think it's time to take a break and play something else. Uh. Yes, yeah, so we are on stage three. Damn, this game is uh not very long at all. It really isn't. Uh, all right. What am I gonna play next? 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 Can anybody guess? Can anybody guess? One of my all-time favorite games. Um, 
it was my favorite game for a really long time and until I replayed Yoshi's Island. Um, no More Heroes, uh, the game that literally uh, changed my life. You know what I mean? Amazing, amazing, amazing game. Since 1998. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, boot up the stream um, and try to beat a boss a day um, on, on No More Heroes, and we'll see... Uh, We'll see if we can get through it like that. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for reminding me, game. Wait, is it really not going to let me play just because I have low batteries? Wow. Wow, unbelievable. Thanks a lot, Suda. Um, looking out for me, I suppose. Controllers need to need to recharge. It's just all right. it's very very frustrating. All right. Uh. Weird, because I don't remember playing this on Wii U. Um, this is Diane from Video. I specifically wanted to start a new game, so uh, I guess we could look at my... Uh, damn, how many times have I played this game? Uh, the Wii version... Yeah, so I was in the middle of a playthrough on the Wii version as well. Like, let's look at my, uh, my files. I have no idea. I... How many, how many times have I played this game? Alright. Rank 7. Okay, so I must have just started this. Okay, I must have just started this file and never finished it. Alright. Weird, I don't remember playing this. Uh... Yeah, I put a ton of time into this game, but uh, this is... I thought I hadn't played it on Wii U at all, so apparently I must have started a new file. My, uh, my Wii is uh, overloaded with files, so that's probably... That's probably why, but all right. Uh, data. Yeah, you you have to do this to. Um, you have to do this in order to uh, to start a new game. It, it's ridiculous. All right, so we're gonna play on mild. It's been so long. Oh, I'm so hyped. Remember when Ubisoft published these games? All right. Um, should I play on Sweet just for the convenience sake? I might as well. This is this is my first playthrough in a while. Like I'm I'm mostly playing this for the lore anyway. Um, I I have beaten the game on Bitter before, but it's like, eh. I mean, this game has one hit KOs. We might as well just streamline it if we're gonna stream it. I mean, the game's not that tough on mild either, but all right. It's been a while, so let's play sweet. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. Holy shit! Why? 
Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at a death match. Man, man! You smell, smell good. good. So, so being the gentleman I am, I bought, I bought her a drink. drink. Anywho, I, I decided to get a job. The gig? The gig? Assassinate, assassinate the drifter. So I went, so I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there, and there he was, was. This, this cat, well-dressed, well cool, couldn't, couldn't tell if he was shit, shit or just plain old shit. shit. Yes, yes so his style, style fat, fat, aggressive, and packing heat, but a bee, be. or, or at least it was supposed to be, until so she showed up. Her name? Her name? This is the greatest opening to any video game ever, by the way. <laughs> I'm like completely enraptured by it. Damn, she still looks good. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? Long, hard road. Oh man, I love this thing. So yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal opening. You have like a basic premise of what you're doing. You have a general idea, but it's not very uh, specific. so much ah oh, it's so good and I haven't used the um, the original katana in forever so this is actually the game that made me uh, love hack and slash games funnily enough a lot of people point to a DMC 3 as their as their um as the origin for their love of the genre, uh, I would say this, and it's kind of weird because this game is not, um, not a great hack and slash. Funnily enough, it's um, it's kind of basic, but uh, it's it's so good at what it does uh, and what it's trying to do, really, that it that it stays very very memorable. Like, how can you not love this? I'll never get tired of that. Like, it's so satisfying. You know what I mean? And it's one of the big reasons why I was so critical of people who were. Um... Hang on, maybe I should turn it down. That's one of the reasons I was so critical of people who. Um... Of uh, who weren't happy with Travis Strikes Again, because uh, No More Heroes was never a super technical fight of uh, hack and slash. You know what I mean? Like Travis Strikes Again is actually surprisingly um, similar to this. Um, honestly, I, I do prefer Travis Strikes Again more than No More Heroes. Too probably not more than this because this is one of my favorite games of all time. But but uh, No More he Travis Strikes Again had more of what I'm looking for in No More Heroes. It had like the ideas, the themes, the uh, the backgrounds. Um, the music, the ideas, uh, the lore, um, and No More Heroes 2, um, it's technically, it technically feels like it has more going on, but it's kind of shallow in, in, in its way. It's very AAA-ish in that regard. It really does feel like a, a pointless sequel. Oops. It's so different playing this on Mild. Compared to Bitter, like, Bitter is just brutal. Alright. Hey, let's show off some wrestling moves. Yep. Ooh. 
I guess I don't have the good wrestling moves yet. I'm actually not sure how, how exactly... It's so satisfying. Look at this. Isn't this not awesome? Alright. Die! There's something just charming about, like, these mooks just throwing themselves at you and they only be brutally murdered. It's great. Well, I actually don't remember this one. What does this one do? Oh, there we go. Oh! Okay. Hang on, what? There we go. Alright. I forgot, I forgot about a lot of these power-ups. Alright. It has been a while since I played this. Am I, I'm not sure how long it's been. Uh, I'll have to look at my... Uh, let's see. For this file... I mean, that, that had to have been the last time I... Uh, I played the game, right? Let's see. No more heroes. Oh, it doesn't tell you when. Oh. It, it, it's had to have been, like, at least over five years. If I don't remember playing this at all. I must have just popped it in just for fun and then never finished it. But yeah, I remember everything about the levels and the combat and everything about it, really. Um, the, the really, only the reason, the only reason I'm playing it now, honestly, is because uh, No More Heroes 3 is coming out. And I, I need to get through it all again. Experience this, uh, majestic video game franchise and all, all, all of its glory. I already did, um... Maybe it's a bit too loud. Um, I already did a couple of, um... A couple of Travis Strikes Again videos, which is which is great. Um, Travis Strikes Again was like very very underrated in my opinion. Uh, not my opinion, uh, in my fact, I should say. Um, people were attacking that game for all sorts of tasteless reasons, like oh, it's a it's top down, it's not it's not as good. What are you talking about? Like it's better than it's better in some ways than the original game, and uh, nobody really 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 cared about that. It's a uh, yeah, I do think Travis Strikes Again probably does have the best story out of all of them. Uh, overarching story, I would say. Uh, this game kind of has, like, a deliberate cop-out. Like, ooh, wait for the sequel, and uh, the sequel wasn't as good as this. And uh, Travis Strikes Again is very, very, um, a bit more self-contained. It's a bit different. Um, it really shows a, a new side of the characters, I think. I've never actually looked uh, outside this door before. I mean, this game is really is proof that a a lot of the nonsense targeted at like Nintendo, uh, Nintendo fans don't buy mature games. Uh, they don't like action games. They don't like uh, they don't buy games that don't belong to uh, Nintendo developers. Like all of that is not true. Um, th this game was very very successful, uh, very very popular, and um, is continuing is getting new games today. So. Yeah, Suda is, like, surprisingly based when it comes to Nintendo support. Honestly, that's something I uh, noticed in Travis Strikes Again, is that, like, he's outright, like, condemning companies like EA for uh, being what they are, which is, like, lazy, uh, profit-driven studios with no real ambition or uh, interest in overall, overall quality. You know what I mean? Wait, there we go. There he is! That's not nearly as memorable as, like, the God Hand one. Well, that has been a long time. I don't remember any of these power-ups. It might be because, um, I'm so used to using the, uh, the really cheap endgame attack. Like, the, the low charge strike, uh, that kills everyone on, sc on screen at once. Uh, once you have that, there's really no reason to use anything else, but, uh... Yeah, I've not been getting power-ups in forever.
Uh, sure. Whatever, whatever you say, Travis. This is the end. No more Heroes 2. I think it's been longer since I've replayed, so... Uh... So yeah, I, I might actually be more interested in replaying that again. Because uh, because I was saying when I, I beat Travis Strikes again that I, that I think uh, No More Heroes... Um, it was better than No More Heroes 2, and I, and I think I am going to stand by, stand by that, but... I'm, I'm going to have to replay the entire series again. Because I haven't played them at all since it came out. That came out, like, what, last year? 2019? Wow. Uh... So yeah, I'm a big Suda fan in general. Um, well, of his uh, post No More Heroes stuff, anyway. Like I really like Shadows of the Damned. Uh, uh, post Killer Seven stuff, I should say. Uh, I tried to play. I tried to play Flower Sun and Rain, but I couldn't get into it. Um, maybe he just didn't find his groove then. I don't know. I mean, I, I would like to play everything he's he's ever made, but he he simply hasn't released everything on Nintendo consoles. It's um. <sighs> it's, it's, it's always been kind of frustrating, but, like, uh, I, I can't just buy... <laughs> I can't just import everything, you know what I mean? Especially these days, when, like, I'm not obsessed with him as I used to be. Alright. There we go. Uh... Yeah, I think one boss a day is probably fine. Uh... I mean, the game is not all that long. I, I beat, beat it in a weekend, I think. Uh, yeah, this is a funny story. Uh, I bought this the same weekend I did uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. And uh, I played this instead of playing that. Yeah, I bought, like, this, Zack and Wiki, Quest for Barbosa's Treasure, and uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 all in the same weekend. And I ended up playing uh, nothing but this, basically. Um, I, I didn't even get out of the tanker in Metal Gear Solid 2. I was so enamored with this. Yeah, so this game um, is better than Metal Gear Solid 2, confirmed. Like, I, I didn't even hate Metal Gear Solid 2 when I um, when I played it, but... Oh, oh, the GOAT. The best use of the Wii Remote microphone ever. Holy shit. You get call cell phone calls. I love Sylvia so much. She is the greatest. She is the greatest female character ever. She is so great. Like I can't think of any uh, any female character in anything ever that sort of like <laughs> emphasizes uh, the bitchiness more than uh, you as a man. It's great. It's a really interesting contrast. She's like oof, you genuinely want to get with her, even though she's like a bitch. Um, well. You understand why Travis wants to bang her, even though she's a, a terrible, terrible person. It's it's hilarious. It's such a great contrast. It, the um, the game does a lot to really emphasize that she's not like a good person. Well, all nobody really is, uh, really. Uh, but but th that's what I like about it. Uh, all right. Oh, that, that's another thing about uh, starting a new file. This is the only way you can read these messages. Which is probably important for lore. <laughs> Travis, do you remember those golden days in Calgary? The path of pro wrestling that you have long forgotten? If even a fragment of the spirit of a wrestler remains in your blood, remember the first suplex that your master taught you. Yes, that's right. The darkness piercing front neck MS. I love how we still have no idea who this is. Like, this person has never been addressed at all. We have no idea who it is. It's not Thunder Ryu. That's a, that's a completely different person. We don't even know what the what the whole deal is with uh, Travis and his uh, whole pro wrestling career. Because that's why he uses wrestling moves. Yeah, he used to be a pro wrestler in Mexico, apparently. Oh, and by the way, uh, you saved the game by taking a shit. 
Everyone always brings this up, and it, it never really meant a whole lot to me, but alright. Yeah, we're overwriting that other file, because I don't really care. I mean, my best file is on the Wii anyway, so... Uh, alright. You are the man! Alright. Yeah, I turned on subtitles because you, you kind of have to have subtitles on. It's so good. These cutscenes are like legit, some of the best I've ever seen in my life. Quite beautiful, would you say? Paid for with the lives of many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true will. I am free of desire. So long as I have this scenery to look upon, I need nothing more. Please leave me be. You're the one leaving. In a body bag. I'll only say this once more. Leave here now! Huh. Me, Lee? You obviously don't know me. You don't get it, do you? Hey, you know what paradise is, right? Paradise. This is paradise, the place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up. This is no paradise. All right, then what is it? A place to die. Huh. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. So naive. You have no idea, do you? What a pity. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Listen well, young one. The wall is high, higher than you will ever know. Ultimate sacrifice is sublime. Now draw. Huh. You can take that to your grave. Love, love, love this build up. Love, love this setup. All right. The Travis has a little monologue here, too. So we, we have to pay attention to this because this is probably the most important thematic uh, monologue in the entire series when he starts talking here. There we go. Big ass house, fast cars, dining in style, That'll be the life. That'll be my life. Oh, we better not kill him too quickly. Like me. This is how it goes down. For the old killers, they'll croak anyway. Yeah, th this dialogue is really, really important, and um, you really have to, to look into this. Man, this is, this is legit, like, amazing uh, thematic. Yeah. I, I really should be uh, explaining this. Okay, so uh, Travis is. Um, Travis is essentially uh, hyping up this life for himself, even though he knows it's like out, completely out of his reach. You know what I mean? Um, oh, oh man, I, I completely forgot about my battery. Yeah, I completely forgot about the battery. Uh, all right. See, this game is like phenomenal with its like uh, symbolism and its uh, its commentary, uh, social commentary, as well as like uh, its relative, uh, its uh, how it relates to uh, video games and stuff like that. It's it's wonderful. So Travis is essentially uh, fighting this guy to try and acclaim uh, wealth and power. Essentially, trying to uh, find a way to live a 
a satisfactory, no, not not satisfactory, an ideal life. And um, it's it's so so compelling seeing him just lay it out like that. And, and it's really subtle too. It's most players wouldn't notice it the first time through, but that's oops, all right. Oops. All right, there we go. This is yeah, sweet's really easy. I think I must have played on mild my first playthrough as well. Yeah, sweet's really easy. A lot easier than I thought it would be. All right. Uh, there we go. Got him. There can be only one. Okay. Uh, this is basically a Highlander game. The name Holy Sword is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise, old man. I love how the implication is that he was about to tell Travis something very important and Travis didn't give a shit. Ranking award, clear time, uh... Yeah, rank A. Amazing, amazing game. Oh, our, De our uh, Zelda prize. Yeah, and there's Sylvia. This is a really interesting fight because uh, Travis strikes again uh, ends in this in this uh, specific this oh, exact nice spot. Kill, Travis. I didn't think you had it in you. It was rather exciting. Oh, I love her so much. Congratulations, you are now ranked tenth. Tenth, huh? What? Do I get anything? Hmm. How about some cash? That should help you pay the bills. I'm not feeling the sense of accomplishment that I should have. <laughs> so I just gotta do this a few more times, right? If you so choose, yes. And you will keep your promise? There is nothing the association cannot do. And if I refuse? As the 10th ranked assassin, you are now a target for those who want to replace you. Anytime, anywhere, number 11 could be right around the corner. Ready to put a knife in your eye. So what you're telling me is that I gotta continue fighting. You gotta keep playing the game. There's no way out of this. Quit your bitching and get the I love it. I love I love how they treat each other, it's great. Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Top dead gaming lines right there. Maybe not. Come on, just once. Damn. Him. Just once. Oh, man. Travis is this weird... Yeah, people have, like, brought this up. Uh, Travis is this weird, weird, bizarre mix between, like, a stereotypical incel and, like, a complete Chad. You know what I mean? It's really, really bizarre how he's, like, super, super confident and assertive, even though, like, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's, it's really, really bizarre. But it's so compelling at the same time. It's phenomenal. Um, yeah, I said, um, yeah, I said one boss a day, um, that, that should be fine, um, yeah, over the next ten days. Next time we're gonna have to, um, do the chores, unfortunately, but that, that shouldn't take too long. Uh, alright, so we'll just hold off there, and then, alright, so what should I play next? Um, The Last Story, maybe? I was hyping up, like, The Last Story as being better than Final Fantasy Seven R, so I, I might as well. I saved the game, so I guess I don't really need to, uh, oops. Yeah, it wouldn't let me pause it. Um, I guess we could play a, a downloadable game. Um, let's see here. What else do I have on here? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I, uh, on Wii U, I still need to get through. Uh, digital games, mainly. mainly. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. 
Metroid Fusion? Oh, that might be a good one to play through, Metroid Fusion. Uh, Fire Emblem, Shovel Knight, uh, let's see. Mega Man Battle Network 2, yeah, I gotta get through that again. Final Fantasy Tactics, uh... Hmm. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Pokemon Ranger. Wow, I haven't played that in a while. I was really into it, too. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think Metroid Fusion is where I want to go. Uh, to be honest with you. Oh, Punch Out! I, I never beat, uh, I never beat Mr. Dream. I guess I could, uh, try to do that for a bit. But yeah, I think Metroid Fusion is, um, is a good bet. Cause, cause I just played, um, super recently. And I just played Samus Returns recently. So yeah, Fusion, it's, it's about, it's about time I replay Fusion. So yeah, there are, um, there are certain games that I... I won't be able to beat it today, unfortunately, but... Uh, I've been assigned to a watch over bio Biologics Research Team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR-388. I was kind of down on this game when I last played it, but uh, I might like it more this time. Let's... This is actually the only the third time I've ever played this. This is not the my most played Metroid game by any means. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Mercury Steam was talking about uh, remaking this game after Samus returned. Um, once the eggs had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness. I think they were talking about uh, making remaking this instead of two, but but I'm glad they are they did remake um, two because two really did need to be remade more than this. And technically, Other M is kind of a remake of this anyway. It's really embarrassing how Other M uh, basically rehashes a ton of plot elements from this. Oh no, Samus has been infected with coronavirus. <laughs> I had become so in integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Dra dramatically altering my physical appearance? Is she saying she got fucked up? However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then someone found a cure. So who was this someone? It seems that the Federation had managed to prefer a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. You, you know, say what you will about Other M, but uh, they, do, they do seem to have foreshadowed this. Uh, the whole... Federations uh, stocking up Metroid things very well. Uh, that's exactly what they did here, though, wasn't it? Like, there are Metroids in this ship, right? Weird how I don't remember the... I remember Mitch Other M's plot, but I don't remember this. Oh, we could play Other M on stream. Um, yeah, that might be an interesting one. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As for me, one life ended... Yet I survived, reborn. As something different. Is Samus still a waifu if she's been infected with like three different alien parasites? We actually don't know what she looks like. Uh, pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. Oh no, the baby! We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. 
The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, Research Staten. You know, people say other Amsamus is annoying. I'm kind of annoyed by this. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After, she's so cool in uh, Super Metroid, but not in this. Regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station for some reason. This awoke a nameless fear in my heart. And now I'm being sent there to investigate. Alright. Alright, so we have our new ship. Hard to believe this is the last Metroid game that came out. Oh, well, I, I guess Samus Returns is um is technically a new one. Uh, they said they're not going to remake Super, and I, and I imagine they're not going to remake this before they remake Super, so... There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR-3DA as well as parts of your suit affected by the X-Parasites. The cause of the explosion is a yet unclear. Investigate. Yeah, th this game is uh, very, very good at setting up why Samus doesn't have any of her power-ups. <sighs> But yeah, uh, Super does play a lot better than this. Uh, I'm already like, okay. Immediately co coming off of s playing through Super again, I'm just like, yeah, th this uh, this does not play nearly as well. I mean, it has some pretty good boss fights, but um, yeah, the clunkiness is kind of kind of off. It does feel kind of clunky compared to the. Uh, The quarantine bay bioscience. Alright. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got you. Like like the big thing that everyone always brings up against this against this game is that it, it is extremely linear. And that is kind of true, but but it's like well, it's very true actually. But 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 it's uh it's not a bad kind of linear. In fact, I would say it's better than uh other linear games. You know what I mean? Like uh, I keep bringing up Uncharted, uh, The Last of Us. Uh, this really does. This game really does feel like it. Uh, it really does feel like the game has more of a sense of what it wants to be. Like it feels like the situation is more intense. Oh, that's right. You already have the. You can already pull yourself up ledges. Like I, I love how like you can't do things you could do in the last game, but you can uh, do something you couldn't do. Uh, pull yourself up ledges. Yeah, that's the uh, power of the Metroid. Um, you can pull yourself up ledges. Uh, It's weird that both this and, like, Zero Mission... This is, like, three hours long, and Zero Mission, I think, is, like, an hour long. I, I remember be beating, like, Zero Mission in, like, an hour. It's crazy short. An hour and a half, maybe. Uh, here we go. Huh? Wait, isn't this where I was supposed to go? So maybe I should go back? Did they burst out of the quarantine bay? I don't think shit has gotten real yet, so... Uh... That's one of the nice things about this game. It really, like, plays with your expectations. Uh, alright. But unfortunately, it's also very, very scripted. Killing the host creature, man. I I'm starting to regret playing this game uh, during during an actual fucking plague. Oh man, only the Metro vaccine save your life. Yep, yep. We must keep the X out of the inbreeding environment at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. Let's see. Yep. Alright. Yeah, Adam, like... Adam, like, 
completely dictates where you have to go. Like in this game, everything he does in um, in Other M, like he also does here. Like that's the weird thing about Other M is like like it was so so controversial, but like it, it seems like that was always the intention. Like Adam being kind of a dick was always kind of intentional. Um, Like, they pretty accurately foreshadowed the, uh... Oh, there's a dead guy. It pretty accurately foreshadows everything that happens in Other M. To the point where, like, it does feel like they kind of did plan out Other M to a certain extent. Like, maybe not some of the finer details, but, like, the overarching, like, the really controversial aspects. Uh, I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Yes, it's clear. Uh, I... I mean, there's a reason I don't play this game as much as I do. Um, Super, or even the Zero Mission, I, I do think this is probably the worst of the uh, 2D Metroids. Maybe maybe not the original, maybe not the first two, but uh, I, I do think like this is probably aged the most poorly. Um, this game being so story-driven really does hurt it a lot. Named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions from anyone else. It would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Okay, sure. Sure, whatever you say, Samus. When did I last play this? 2014? What? Oh. No, it, no, it wasn't that long ago. Wow. Uh, no, 24. Man, it's been, it's been that long since I first played this? Wow. Yeah, since I first played this. Yeah, I, I didn't use save states um, on my last playthrough. Because I didn't need to. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to watch some anime here soon. Uh, the data room is just ahead. Oh, I guess I could boot up Fatal Frame because I got I got a request for that. Yeah, yeah, I, I can play some Fatal Frame. Um, unless you want to keep want, want me to keep playing this. I would like to boot up Fatal Frame though because since it came up. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio science, so I hope your missiles work. Yep. I mean, this game has a story to it, and it does kind of get in the way, but it, it doesn't really... Um, there are, like, positive aspects to it. Like, the game's scripted events are legitimately pretty cool. Are legitimately pretty impressive, as you'll be seeing here shortly. How many people have played this game, by the way? I, I get the impression it's nowhere near as popular as Super. Super, I get the impression that, like, literally everyone has played. Uh, I'm wondering just what the percentage is. Um, I, I know a lot of people did not play Samus Returns, because uh, that one was being really shit on by the... Uh... Wait a minute. Oh, they, uh, the elevator went off. Wait a minute. Yeah, I... He won't even let you use the elevator. Like, what the fuck, Adam? Yeah, a lot of times this game feels like uh, you're going off the rails. It's great. Yeah, I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to replay uh, Metroid Prime for little little years, and here I am uh, playing the original Metroids again. Missile tank. Yeah, I I'm definitely gonna have to play Prime. Um, I, I think I have the money for it now. Uh, I should have the money for it. Um, I, I guess I could just go ahead and buy it right now and then stream it, like, pfft, after I finish this. Yeah, maybe I'll buy it when I go off stream. Because that's my big problem, is that, like, uh, I gotta I gotta go on the Wii U store, I gotta sign in, I gotta put in my information. And there, there isn't a ton of, uh, there isn't a ton of stuff on Wii U I don't already have, so... Oof. Metroid Prime Trilogy is one of them, though. And I'll need that to, uh, to stream these games. To stream all of them, I should say. I, I can stream three just by playing it on Wii U, but um, I, I do want, like, the, 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 tr the Prime Trilogy with, like, the extra content and the motion controls and stuff like that. Oops. 
Oh, this is the thing from uh, Metroid 2. Wow, I, I had no idea. Yeah, this is a boss from Met Metroid 2. Wow. Oh. So do they reuse bosses from other Metroid games? That's that's kind of uh, unusual. I I didn't I didn't realize that. Yeah, Met Metroid Metroid focuses a lot more on continuity than other other Nintendo franchises, which is probably why one of the reasons why it takes so long to make new games. Uh, okay, oops. Here we go. Uh, this is definitely one of my pet peeves about this game. Uh, these guys in there. So you can only hurt these things with muscles. Uh, with missiles. Muscles? <laughs> with muscles. You need muscles to fire your missiles. Uh, uh. There we go. Yeah, so, so to get the power up, you have to break these shields all the time. And it's really, really frustrating if you've had, like, a really, really, really harsh boss fight. You, like, want to relax and these things come flying at you. I don't think there are any non-ex uh, enemies in the, in the entire game. They all do that. Uh, Alright. Oops. Yeah, check this out. You gotta... Yeah, I haven't seen anyone talk about this game in a while. Um, it is at the point where it's very, very old. Like, you know, this came out in 2001. Almost 20 years old at this point. Uh... Should I go back to the navigation room? I guess we could just go down this way, it doesn't matter. Adam's not locking me out, so who cares? Uh, I mean, this game is certainly worth playing, but but uh, I, I will say that, like, eh, Super is probably way better. Super is way better. It's as I fear, the breeding environments have been invaded by X Parasites. Sector 1! Yes, it's clear. Ooh, oh boy. So now we gotta go to Sector 1. Like I said, this game is basically like a better version of Other M, to the point where like, I really, I'm really curious about why Other M even had to exist. Like, uh, everything Other M does, this game does better uh, from the, the, you know, having the biomes, the, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, I see. It has, like, the biomes and, like, the this uh, government conspiracy. Uh, the story, even, is better than Other M's. It's... Oh, and Other M doesn't have this bitch. <laughs> Here's Sammy! And she even turns to look at you. Oh, man. Yes, I know you're... I know you're playing the game. I'm coming to get you. No, Samus, no! Uh. Yeah, that thing kind of comes out of nowhere. Uh, wait a minute. Sector 1? Yeah. yeah. So the SAX kind of comes out of nowhere, and you kind of have to deal with it. I mean, do you really... Like, maybe if they got rid of these navigation rooms, the game would be, like, radically improved. Like, having to figure this stuff out yourself. Uh... Yep. Yeah, I like, I like this game a lot. All right. Ugh. Yeah, uh, I'm so hooked on this. I think I, I think I want to keep playing it. But, but yeah, I gotta I gotta think about going soon, and I wanted to play Fatal Frame a little bit, just to pop it in. I, I probably will come back and play, finish this. Uh, it's just been a while since I played Fatal Frame Five. All right. I guess I could do that now. Fatal Frame Five. Um, you know the Wii U exclusive horror game. Uh, one of the many many Wii U games that are not available on Nintendo Switch. 
you know, alongside uh, Super Mario 3D World and, uh, let's see, Star Fox Zero. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware of this, but this game absolutely was hit really, really hard by the Pretendo stick. Uh, people were making up all these weird controversies about this. I'm not even sure if people really bring this up anymore, but there, there was um, there was this major controversy about around not getting a physical release, around not getting a... Um, over uh, allegedly being censored. Um, funny how people will riot over this being censored, but not Persona 5R being censored. Um, I am... And of course, there were like minor people. There were individuals like insisting that Nintendo was going to ruin the IP. Uh, so yeah, th there are. When did I last play this? It had to have been like 2016 or so. Because I played it a while back, a while after it came out. But yeah, a long while. I don't remember when this first came out. There is save data from an episode in progress. Uh, hang on. Episode percent ghost list. So I, I don't actually I didn't actually one hundred percent this, so it might be something I'm I'm interested in doing. How about we just pick off where I left off? Um uh, was it in the final episode? It probably was the final episode. I, I can't imagine it was a uh... I might as well start from the beginning or an earlier episode to uh, get back in the swing of things because I actually don't remember how I um, how to play this. I'm curious as to when I last played this. Oh wait, why am I playing as a dude? All right, this has to be. I want to play as Yuri. Okay, uh, last save. Yep, yep. This is the final chapter. The really. Really ridiculous. The really, really ridiculous final chapter that I... <sighs> yeah, one of these days I'm going to have to get the uh, Nintendo cosplay caught. <laughs> the Nintendo cosplay, but I still have not done it yet. Uh... Alright. Um... All right, let's see. Let's uh, Mount Hikami Yuri Kazakata. I'm hoping I can someday uh, remember her name so I can actually talk about this. A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to shadow reading at the abandoned inn. Yeah, I was I was pretty engaged with this game in, in spite of all of its problems. I, I really loved its setting, um, you know, its characters, uh, the gameplay. Um, if they ironed out some of the raw bits, it would have been great. Um, I guess it is kind of good. I mean, it's reasonably entertaining is what I'm getting at here. Oh, I had her wearing glasses. Holy shit. 10 out of 10. Wow. 11 out of 10, I should say. I forgot about that. Uh-oh, the haunted, the haunted mountain that everyone keeps going to for some reason. They saw my friend there. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? I don't know why. Yeah, that's the weird thing uh, about this game, or I guess about the IP in general. Like, it seems to have this idea that every, every Japanese schoolgirl wants to kill themselves. It's, it's really, um, it's, it's really, really out there <laughs> in this regard. Yeah, 
that everyone just goes up to this fucking mountain all by themselves. Come back. I really love how Yuri is like doesn't need to help, but will uh, do it anyway because she's just that wonderful of a person. All right. Let's see. It's a bit clunkier than I remember. All right. I remember her being faster than this. Uh, all right. Alright. Yep. Yeah, every time we go to... The, this is one of the weird things about this game. Like, every time we go to the mountain, it's always at night. Like, oh, don't go to the mountain at night. It's haunted. Uh, and, and we always go. It's just... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because if the ghosts really, really, really hate you, they're gonna come down here anyway. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing here stopping them. Like, shit. Uh, I love how she was just like must tell your must tell Yuri to stay away from the mountain. <laughs> just like, and I'm gonna go anyway. Why hello there. Alright. Anyway, can I look at my reflection? I've never liked looking into mirrors. Oh come on! Come on! How how low self-esteem can one girl have? Really, an open envelope has been left on this on this. I don't know. I guess it's better to have low self esteem than to be like arrogant, honestly. Oof. Spirited away. There was a photograph with the with the letter. All right. Hisoka. Hisoka. She must have gone to Mount Hikami. So yeah, let's go. Let's go up this haunted mountain at night. I, I, I'll never, never get over this. Like you always go up, up at night. Like you're specifically told several times it's a bad idea, and yet you keep doing it. It's just. Damn. So yeah, never, never trust a. Um, I don't know. So yeah, you have this, uh, this magic ability to follow people. All right. Oh, I don't even have my camera. Oh man. Yeah, this is probably a, a bad chapter to start with. I mean, this game is, like, pretty open. The issue is that, like, the, the missions are so linear. That, that was that was my, kind of my problem with it. Like, you should have had, like, a bunch of missions going on at once and, like, go around an open environment. Like, that's, that's my perspective on it. And then, like, go through, like, certain individual levels in the open area environment. Uh, that's, that's kind of my perspective. Um... Like, I'll, like, this game is gorgeous, but, um, 
Yeah, it's unfortunately very, very linear. So it's really been six years since this was made, because this came out in 2014, but didn't make it to Wii U until, uh, until didn't make it to North America until 2015. So it has been like six years, and uh, no word of a sequel, which is weird because I think they made a movie. <gasps> Stay away from me, you creep! All right. Sometimes a ghost hand will appear when you try to reach for an object. You can usually normally see the hand coming, so. Yep, so we have a map. So so why is Yuri living with the the other chick? I don't remember. Does she not have parents? There's something under the waterfall. You got a purifying embers. The wetness gauge to the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. <laughs> I completely forgot about the wetness gauge. Oh man. Are they like seriously giving like this weird Okay. Wait. What was that? I forgot the wetness gauge was a thing, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not lusting after Yuri nearly as much as I thought I would be. Uh, pfft. Oof, alright. The wetness gauge, really. Like, when I heard about that, like, I posted about it on Miiverse. I was just like, wow. A wetness gauge, wow. What did they mean by this? Alright. There's something in the water. Oh, is this the camera? I think it must be. Hang on. The pool has been cordoned off by an old warding rope. There are stairs in the water that lead to the waterfall. Was this a place of purification? Yeah, I thought this was the camera. Yep. Hisoka's camera obscura. You got the switch upgrade. Oh wow! If only it was. If only this game got a switch upgrade. Oh, uh, no. You can now use the camera obscura. All right. Awesome. And now they're coming. They're here. Uh, hang on. Oh shit! I gotta use the game pad. But well, how nice of them to wait until um. Uh, until I picked up the camera obscura and can actually defend myself against them. Uh, I actually don't remember how to do combat in this game. All right. Uh, I probably should have played through the tutorial level, but that might have been boring. Uh, all right. I guess this game does rely on the Wii U gamepad, uh, but I. Like, do you really need to have these ghosts? Like, can't, can't you not just explore and figure out where they went? Like, find a trail or something? Oh, okay. You know, things like that are creepier when they just sort of happen, as opposed to, um, you know, being a cutscene. You know what I mean? Nobody could survive a drop in this type. Oh, she's right behind me! Oh, just, oh man. Ah, uh, I'm right behind you, girl. Uh, let me see here. The fence? Who cut a hole in this fence? Alright. And there she... Oh, did I miss it? To the unfathomable forest. Yeah, th there's a reason I never played this again. It... There's really no reason to once you beat it once. I mean, I enjoy it, but uh, it's mostly just like seeing the environments and the weird stuff they come up with. And plus the waifus and stuff like that, but uh, 
I mean, I, I really do suspect that there's probably a better game in the series, but uh, I don't know. Until they make them put the, put them on Nintendo consoles, I don't. I wouldn't know. Was it Fuhi? I'm, I'm hoping, uh, yeah, one of the things, uh, there are rumors going around that there's going to be a, a dual screen attachment to, uh, to uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, the big thing I want is uh, Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Zero 2, uh, for sure, um, you know, with the motion controls completely intact. Uh, another thing I want is a sequel to this. I, I think that would be fantastic. Um, And this is one of the things people were getting fired up about when it came to the Wii U, is uh, using the, uh, the, 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 the controller as a camera, because it's so obvious. And uh, Pokemon Snap, which never happened. I, I don't know, I don't understand this. Why are they so... Why are they refusing to make Pokemon Snap? Like, really? Fuihi's trace ends here. They never, never... Oops, oh shit. Sorry, I got careless. I forgot they could do that. Pokemon Snap is just... They, they, just, they just refuse to make it. It's just... They've, there are eight generations now, and there's only been a Pokemon Snap for the first generation. Well, I don't know what to do now that Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone. Oh no. Oh, oops, hang on. Ah shit, there they are. Get away from me, you freaks. Uh, they're slowly lumbering after me. Honestly, I think the only time I was ever freaked out by this game was, uh, not even really freaked out, just, just annoyed, more like, uh, there was this, um, I was trying to go around, I was going around in circles trying to solve this very specific puzzle. And, and I was just like trying. Oh wait, hang on. That's right. You can absorb them and see how they died. Fatal glance. So if you've never touched that specific enemy type before, you get like a flashback to how they, uh, to how they, uh, how to why they're ghosts essentially. I mean, this game tries to be more action oriented. Um, they, they were talking about that, and I, and I don't think it does that very well. Honestly, uh, just make the ghost intimidating. Uh, you know, have the camera be a last resort to defend yourself. Don't make it like something you do every time they show up. That's that's kind of that's kind of my perspective on it. Like running should be like the the viable tactic. I feel like, or doing something else. Is that a ghost coming down the stream? All right, all right, whatever. I don't care. Uh, Oof. Uh. Oh, the dollhouse. You know, maybe if you cleaned up after yourselves, the ghosts would, like, leave you alone. Like, they would, uh, oh, this place is unrecognizable. We, we shouldn't be here anymore. Let's move on to the next life, but no. People have to stand here and just let themselves decay. All right. Ugh. 
Ah, these ghosts. All right. This is a page from... So she's leaving notes for me. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduation. It was called The Song of Memories. Haruka and I looked at each other when we sung together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. If I even hum that tune, I start to teen up. Hey, hey, little girl. So maybe not all the ghosts are malicious. Well, maybe if you just thought that, uh... Pfft. Girl watching from behind. Oh, uh, don't the kids fuck with you? Yeah, I think they do fuck with you. Oh, hang on. If I'm remembering correctly. Go with me, you creep. All right. Oof, I think I, ooh, I think I'm done for now. Uh, oof, I've been streaming for like, yeah, two hours. Yep, that's uh, that's more than enough time. Uh, yep, so that's Fatal Frame Five. Um, a little bit of it. Really, really enjoy that game. Um, oof. All right, so what should I play uh, tomorrow? Uh, let me know in the comments section. Uh, I think it will be Metroid Fusion. I think I will get through that again. Um, probably Metroid Prime as well, eventually. Uh, until then, I will see you all next.